Hi, Andrew Bell here with you. And this week we're looking part of the supply and demand equation, that is, the demand. I was a keynote speaker this week at a conference of the leading real estate agents from around Australia. And it was certainly interesting talking with all of them about the various real estate markets from around the country. I've never seen such diversity in market activity. And of course, Sydney and Melbourne were the main topic of conversation as they are every day in the newspapers. Word straight out of the marketplace is that the main reason for the strong market is strong demand. And more significantly, an extreme shortage of property on the market for sale. I guess the good news is that buyers are now pushing back on paying any high prices, especially in Sydney. And unless sellers' expectations ease, no sale is going to occur. Until the demand eases and there's significantly more stock on the market, it's hard to see any collapse in real estate prices in those markets. Yet, of course, in other parts of Australia, the markets are only just picking up. And so let's have a look at the demand side of the national perspective for real estate. Essentially, housing demand comes from rising population growth and the natural need for everybody to have a roof over their head. Whilst rising population can be absorbed to a degree by children not leaving home and by a higher proportion of shared accommodation, that can only ease the pressure slightly. Now, whilst population growth has eased back a little, it's still at very high levels, rising last year by 380,000 odd people. The latest census shows the number of people per household was 2.6. And as such, you can see that the demand from that population growth of 380 odd thousand is substantial. With the current population growth, we need approximately 186,000 new properties per annum just to meet that demand. One of our biggest issues is that four out of five Australians live in the country's 20th largest cities or towns. Now that's not going to change, as no government has the finances to build new cities. So we're all just keeping piling on top of one another in these major locations, thus creating huge demands within those cities or towns. In fact, the map on the screen now shows that 98% of Australians live in the white shaded area. So there is no question there is constant demand within those areas. This increasing population forced to live within our cities is seeing a significant increase in purchases of multi-unit dwellings. Sales of high-rise apartments rose 35.5% over the April quarter, which was a significant 57.7% increase in the same three-month period a year earlier. Detached housing sales are just up 0.5% in the April quarter, but that was down 3.7% on the same period last year. So the need for housing continues to be strong. In our next e-newsletter, we're going to have a look at the important supply side of the equation, as this is the most significant way of controlling any price bubbles and accommodation needs uh, from housing. New housing construction is also really significant in boosting our economic growth. Well, that's it for this week. Until our next e-newsletter in a fortnight's time, Let's be kind to one another.